Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to talk to you about what a block graph is and how to draw one. Take a look at this block graph. You can see that instead of using numbers like a table, it has coloured blocks and each of the blocks represents an amount. Block graphs are great because you don't have to understand numbers to see the results. You can see from the height of the blocks which one has the most and which is the least. So how do you draw a block graph? First you need to find some information. I asked the children in my class which animals were their favourite pets and I made a tally chart. I'm going to use this information to draw my block graph. Here's the block graph from the page before so you can see as an example. I'm going to draw the numbers down the side first that show the amount. To do this you need to see which number is the highest in your table. My largest number is 10. So I'm going to draw 10 lines down the side. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. You can see that I drew on the lines, not in the box. Next I'm going to draw the categories. and In my, in my table I've got three. I've got cats, dogs and hamsters. When you've labelled all of the categories you need to start looking at how many blocks you need to fill in. Cats has 10, so I need to draw a line that goes to 10. Dogs has 4, so I draw a line that goes to 4. And hamsters has 6, so I draw a line that goes to 6. You haven't finished your block graph until you've labelled each side and written a title. So on that side it's the amount of people. Underneath it's the animals, and here's my title. Don't forget to check your graph matches your table straight away. See if you can make a block graph using information you can find out at home. 